Field in Philadelphia. It's week three of the NFL on <coughs> Cincinnati Bengals and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gaudin. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I So this will go only as incomplete. 
Brady will try again on second down. On the screen, this is Evans. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 24-yard line. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before on a screen pass. Now you're rushing the passer. You're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you should. Denzel Mims, the rookie, the intended receiver there. And it's second down. Throwing again. Brady. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Thaddeus Moss. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Bengals are going to take a first quarter lead. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown. But you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's when the knockout occurs. Yeah, it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. Jason now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Takes this about five yards deep. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Graham opts not to return it. So here come the Eagles for their initial possession of the game. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback from Wyoming. It's Josh Allen. And I saw that he had an interesting quote in the research packet that we had after last week's game. It's all on me now. I've got to lead my team and find a way for us to win a game. 0-2, but they're at home. I guess he's going to try and find a way to get the home crowd involved early. <laughs> Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Throwing on second down. Allen. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. They run the counter. It's Patterson. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Brings up second. Allen now looks to throw. is Keelan Cole complete. Able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. From the gun, it's Allen. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pre-game. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Here's Allen. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. So those are the numbers for Gronk in last week's alley. Eight catches, 86 yards. And you can tell early, they're going to look his way quite a bit. And he made himself available on that one. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. It's a game of four. Makes it third and seven. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Bengals seven, Eagles nothing. 
Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Philadelphia picking up the first on the game of 15. That right there, clear catch number 541, and that's significant because it ties him with Hall of Famer. Kellen Winslow also obviously played the tight end position. Yeah, and he'll revolutionize it when he was in San Diego, but how about what we're seeing right here? You talk about 541 catches at the tight end position? You talk about lofty territory, rare air? He has a lot to be proud of in his career. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Incomplete. It's second down and 10. Allen again here on second and 10. Crowder's got it over the middle. He's able to work it here to the eight yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Third down, Patterson. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no game that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. That was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So he does some plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That's about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac. Did you trade sixes for threes? Things are going to work out in your favor. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. From the gun, Brady. He's got Denzel Mims, the rookie from Baylor. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. midfield at the 49. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. But it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring weight pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. That's complete to Darrington Evans, the running back. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. The screen gets seven, but it's not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And he was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. That's a double win there, partner. You keep out of the return man's hands, and you pin him inside the five-yard line. Pretty darn good. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position, backed up inside their own five. 
But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one-receiver route, and take your shot down. And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong, and this is going to wind up a safety. I think you can go ahead and give your power and assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two parts. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt. And if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football. And here's the free kick. This will be fielded at the 17. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three.
the offense out for their next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they're rolling incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. Complete. The tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Throwing on first down is Brady. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. But the disadvantages, when they find those levels, where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Cincinnati. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And this would caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance. He turns it up, feet, but that brings up second down. on the afternoon. Next, we'll head over to check on the Giants at home at MetLife Stadium. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting 49ers who are out in front. Tyreek Hill, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Finally, we head to the shores of Lake Erie. See what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Big Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott, two touchdown runs. In the game you're watching, it's who else? Tom Brady with a strong first half. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentator, Brandon Gooden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. We welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Jakeem Grant now to return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get the 
Davis to about the 23. Now come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as... The he's got a man complete! And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. The second quarter starts off with a bang as they stand on the 30 yards. Yeah, still all sorts of time left in this game, and you might be able to say take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. It's a pickup of six. Second. Once more, they turn to Patterson, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of six there on first. And four at the 29-yard line. On second down, it's Patterson. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Sometimes with the running game, you just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays. But stay with the overall essence of the running game. They struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game.
So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by goal is good. <laughs> Third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? 
And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Darrington Evans, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. So what can Brady do here is he'll lead his guys up to go for two. Shotgun now for Brady. And he's got it. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get an intercept and it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on him. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. From the 21, it's second and 10. Williams on the cover. To throw again, Allen. That one complete to Dini Westbrook. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While he gets attended to, we'll step aside. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Situation. 
And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Julian Love. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, at this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. First down, they'll start out with Evans. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And he stopped immediately there. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up four. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And that will come the offense as they take over. Josh Allen in the offense now. Down by two touchdowns, a minute 45 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Operating from the gun, Allen. Open out on the left side, this is Cole. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. The open man is Westbrook. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And again, it's Allen. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Allen going to try and throw on third down. He's going to let it fly. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion. And defensively, pure frustration. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Third and three. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Quickly to Gronkowski, that's caught. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. It'll be a pickup of four. more. And he hits Gronkowski on the out route. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. And is that Gronkowski the one slow to get up? Yes. Gronk still down right now. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. So the shotgun snap to Allen. 
Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask moves him closer. And now first and goal. Allen now from the gun. He'll throw. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. To throwing in on second down. Allen. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Brings up third and goal. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. From the gun, Allen. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Allen going to go on fourth down. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Bengals will get the football back. On first down, Evans. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for the Bengals, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll return home next week to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Santa Clara to take on the 49ers. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.